of you know, figuring out, um, just taking care of you know the P's and Q's. You can still get with the coordinators and understand the nuances of the game and figuring that out. But you know, nothing is quite like getting those physical reps. But you know, just behind that, those mental reps we were able to get. What is the level? Of maybe I'm not sure. Of frustration or disappointment or whatever. Just missing the time that you've missed since you've got. Yeah, I think. You know, it's one of those things that you, 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 throughout your life you wonder why the hell is this happening to me kind of deal. Now, in, in the grand scheme of things, this is very, very minute, you know what I mean? It's one of those things we'll hopefully look back on in a few years and kind of laugh about. But, you know, at this point it really is about, you know, kind of getting to game speed. And, you know, I feel like we've been able to do that, whether it's repetitions and walkthrough or everything except live drills. And, um, you know, it's one of those things. They, someone had told me you can only control what you can control, and you, and you want to smack them right when they say that. But the cliches are around for a reason, you know what I mean? And that's the truth. And when you come to grasp with that, you come to the realization that that's legit, then you're able to kind of just work on yourself. And when you have mental clarity and kind of a, a piece about you, especially with this injury, it helps accelerate the recovery. Having what's been the, through this, um, what's the emotion you go through? Because you're in concussion protocol. It, there's only so many things you can do. And it must be a wide range of emotions you have to experience. Those. Yeah, well, part of, part of you know, the... Uh, the concussion is experiencing emotional swings as well, so that doesn't help. Um, and, and you, you know, it's, it was extremely emotional. This injury is a very emotional one, and uh, it takes a village to get you out of it. You know, what I mean, whether it's family, friends, the un unbelievable staff and faculty here, especially Nate's group, they gave me every resource under the sun. I think I talked to every specialist you can talk to in this freaking, um, in this kind of realm. You know what I mean? And then. Uh, your, your teammates and friends, and, and and I really was able to do that here. Having gone through, having gone through this before, mm -hmm. um, is there something that maybe you look back, maybe the first time and didn't know how to kind of? Yeah, treat well, it? the first two I didn't wear a mouthpiece, and I wore the helmet that's now in the red now. So we probably could have avoided those first two, plus the rookie year. So that was just one hell of a year. Um, you know, these last two were unfortunate in the fact that I don't think I could have avoided them. So when you compound those and you look at the grand number of them, it's you know, it's, it's tough for you, but when you get over the fact that, you know, you, you take care of yourself. You do, I do everything on the right way, and I'm, I know for a fact I'll be fine in the future. And when you come to cope, cope, you know, realization that if this happens again, I'll be fine. And if it happens again after that, that's fine. It's just one of those things that you just got to kind of come to a realization with and come to peace with, and then we are. And it was a long time ago, but um, this most recent one, Training camp practice. Practice like one. Knee, you got Need, knee, yeah, knee to the side of the head. Uh, and what was the play? Do you remember the play? It was just we were, both me and the defender were falling. I was kind of roll out of it, and the, the ground propelled his knee into the side of my head. And I'm telling you, man, it was just one of those weird freak once-in-a-career hits you take. And, and that's when you kind of come into the, why the hell is this happening to me? But you can't control. You can only control what you can control. And that's the toughest thing, and it's easier said than done. The were fact those that experts that spoke with you, like mm -hmm. you said, right. all, were they all, 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 were they all, all encouraging? Absolutely. Uh, like, absolutely. A hundred percent. And, you know, it's in the back of your mind, you always wonder, you know. Um, but every single one I talked to said that, you know, the outside perception of these things is, is kind of far off in regards to the fact that if you take care of yourself and not don't put yourself out there and do precautionary prevention stuff, if this does happen a few more times, it's fine. You'll be fine in the future. Just take care of yourself, and, uh, and you know it's just it's just one of those things. Now that's that's completely opposite of what we hear. Exactly. When, we it, when, when CTE. Mm -hmm, is yeah. Right? Yeah. Everyone warns you these football players don't know yeah, right. what's down the road. So you're sure. the exact opposite. Well, you know, I, no one can 100% guarantee you anything. You know, what I mean, and the haze in the barn at this point. Also, but the truth of the matter is that football is also a different game in regards to that. Um, I'm not going to get into the gist of that. From what I hear, I can only speak for myself, and I feel very confident that I'm going to be just fine in the future. We've done all the tests you can freaking, <laughs> every single one you can do, and everyone was just tip top, and all the specialists said that I'm going to be just fine. In that sense, how much are you champing at the bit to finally get out there, be part of this line, and, and play, you know, play, play a game? Yeah, it's just it's what you came here to do, you know what I mean? Uh, it's one of those things that I'm really, I'm just I'm thrilled to be here. It's, it truly is an emotional thing to think about getting out there with the guys and um, finally being able to do the activity that brought you to Buffalo, you know what I mean? And kind of go back, you can't guarantee anyone's health in the future, you know what I mean? It's one of those things, but I'm, I'm, I feel very good about where I'm at. And if it happens a few more times, it's just the nature of the beast. You put pen to paper, you know what happens in this game. And to the point that John just mentioned, as far as you getting back out there, mm -hmm. even if you had not missed a practice, the whole continuity mm -hmm. thing would be a question, right? With a new line, Absolutely. four or five new starters. 
Right, no doubt. So how, what's your sense with it even being compounded right. by your absence? Uh, continuity, chemistry, how Right. Quickly? Well, I think you know the coaches and the guys did a good job. But there was constant rotation even when one guy was supposed to be slotted as a starter. So um, it, it kind of set up the fact that, you know, Football is a game where guys get hurt and thrown into the thick of it, and I feel like we have an accelerated kind of step ahead on that in regards if someone does need to plug and play. And um, we, we've gotten familiar with everyone playing next to each other, and now I just got to work myself in that equation and as quick as possible. Do you feel like a unit when you're out there? Do you feel like when you were out there at practice, did it feel natural or... Or, or do you still feel like there's work? To there's do? definitely rust, um, but I feel like you always, uh, as a player, you always feel like there's something you need to work on, and maybe that's just amplified now that I've been out for a bit. Um, but you're always trying to find a competitive edge or something. There's always something I need to work on, but there's just knocking some rust off and getting back out there, man. You know what I mean? So, I guess, and, and it's, it's, it's a question that.